smart sheet resource management demo hello everyone welcome to our channel and let's see how we can utilize the smart sheet platform for our resource management so for this you will have to first get an account on a smart sheet and for that search for a smart sheet on google and then just open up the very first link that you will see in the search results and this is where it will lead you to after that all you have to do is just click on this option of try smart sheets for free and then just simply log into your account or you can also use your google account in order to create your account on a smart sheet and this way your smart sheet will use all the information from your google account and after that this account will be created and over here this is the home page and here you will find all your workspaces or your sheets right on your home in order to access them directly all you have to do is just click on that, that particular sheet and you would be able to access it you can also create something new by just clicking on this option of create new and here you get the option to create a new sheet form report dashboard or you can also create a workspace but with a free account you won't be able to create more than one workspace so if you want to get more than one workspace then it's better to go with the paid version of a smart sheet and after that when you go on the second option it is of notifications and here you get all the notifications related to your smart sheet whether someone completes their task or whether someone is added to a new particular task all the notifications will be seen over here and at the third option it is called browse and here you can browse all the different work apps that you are connected to and also the sheets that you have created and the sheets which you are part of and also the workspaces so currently i have around two worksheets and a workspace where i have created some tasks and sheets so we will see exactly how we can do it all but let's see the overview of it first of all so when you go on the option of recent you will be able to see all the your recent uh, formations of different sheets or tasks and on your favorite you will be able to find all your favorites and in the similar way on the work apps all the work apps which are connected to your smart sheet will be shown over here so what we have to do is just click on this option of create in order to create a sheet or workspace so here we get different templates for different uses according to it and when we click on it you will be able to find different categories over here now you can select any of the category as per your needs and requirements there are various categories so in resource management we can actually use the option of human resource or helpful resources template we can also go with other templates as well if the need arises then just go with any of the template suppose we want project management templates we will just select project management and this way we will be able to see all the different project management templates and in case if you want to create your own right from the scratch you can simply click on this option of create new or you can just select any of the template you can also see that there is a complexity bar right beside the template like this this template will be low complex which basically means that it will be easy to use and it is going to be user friendly so you can select any of the template based on its complexity and this way it will help you with your level like if you are an advanced user of a smart sheet and you can work around with different templates then you can simply go with the complex templates so for now we will select something which is not that complex so for a simple project management plan we can select this one now wait for it to load and here you can preview that what this template is all about and what data you can use it for so just simply preview it from here and after that click on this option of use template and this way this template is created over here and now just simply click on this option of simple project to, in order to open it up and you can see that it is added under the workspaces in the browse section so if we want to access it we can just simply click on this option of browse and then in case if this is how it is shown on your pc or your device you can simply click on it then check your workspace and just simply open it up and then it will be opened up now you can open up whether the project dashboard or task tracker or task by status just simply click on it and it will open up 
now this is the project dashboard and we can make changes to it by just clicking on it now here we get different columns and rows and we can make changes to it according to our needs and requirements suppose uh, we want to change who this particular task is assigned to we can change it by clicking over here and selecting any particular person and after that that particular person will be assigned to that particular task suppose you want to change it to this person so the task will be changed and this is how it will be shown now we can also change the task to complete or not complete or we can track the status of a particular task we can also set the start date and the end date and this way we will be able to uh, organize all our tasks in a better way and we will be able to manage our resources in much efficient manner and this way you would be able to utilize a smart sheet to the best of its capabilities and this is how a smart sheet works i hope you like this overview video of a smart sheet in case if you need any further help you can always comment down below and our team will be happy to help you out make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos